Hey, it's better. Can say <laughs> the camera. Hey, hey what's up? It's the White Mamba here in the Philippines, enjoying my time. All right. So, uh, so uh, it was your first time yesterday here in the Philippines? Yeah. Well, I got two, I got here two days ago, but just the idea of just touring around, seeing. Yeah. I heard so much about the country, about the idea that they love basketball so yes. much in the NBA. You go to the shopping malls, you see all kinds of NBA players that get cardboard cutouts. That's whether right. it's Kyrie, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant. So no question, this this country has an incredible love for basketball. <laughs> yes, definitely. And uh, what can you say about um, you know the way Filipinos play um, um, basketball compared to uh, NBA? Well, I, I just have a small sample size, right? I just watched one half of a game. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think they're very guard-oriented. So it be interesting to see moving forward if they adapt that, that style of play. I saw yesterday it looked very much like FIBA. Yeah, not a lot of difference between, you know, you watch Italy play or you watch France play. But, uh, you know, I think ultimately for Phil, uh, the Philippines to take that next step, they got to establish their identity and stick with that identity from the time they're kids all the way up until they're pros. I agree. Yes. Brand, it was already eight years ago during the 2010 NBA Finals. Uh, if I may ask, I would just like to get your opinion. Had Kendrick Perkins played in that particular Game 7, do you think the Celtics won the championship? Yo, I don't really do the, like, has, like, what would have been, right? Because we were in Game 7, and Game Seven's on their Lakers' home court. It could go either way. But uh, I think ultimately when I reflect back on that NBA Finals, I give the Lakers a ton of credit. They played like they had to win. Their life was on the line. From Cal Gasol to Lamar Odom to Derek Fisher, we knew Kobe was going to be the way he was. But those other guys, the, the level of intensity that they brought. And remember, two years prior to that, they had to endure a four-hour bus ride where the fans of Boston were throwing stuff at the van, at the, van, uh, at yeah. the bus, shaking the bus, where they just lost by 39 points by us, yeah, right? right? So I think it was a revenge thing for them. And... I give them all the credit in the world for coming out there and taking that game. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the Philippines, by the way. Thank you. What are the things that you enjoy here? What, what are the things that you, you enjoy, enjoy in the Philippines? Well, so far, I've, been, I've enjoyed, so I'm a big breakfast guy. I'm everywhere, whether I'm in the States. I've enjoyed, like, the food in the morning, the idea of mixing the, the meats and the rice with the eggs on top. I love that. Uh, just seeing the, the interest in basketball, that's been great. The fans out here. You know, I just think this country it has this like this passion for the game of basketball. Whether it's 3X or it's 5-on-5 five five or it's a professional team, I, I think the country really embraces that. And it's really cool to see. And I, I'll probably do some more research. I guess there's a book that was written about why. Why the Philippines adapted to basketball and not soccer or, or another sport. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, like, diving into that. You have played with Filipinos, yeah, right? You have uh, played with Filipinos. Not yet? Yeah, like, in, in, like uh, when I was in college, uh, the Filipino uh, kids that were going to school, they would always have pickup games. So I'd go mess around once in a while and play. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't at our practice facility. It was at, it's like, the common area. But, uh, yeah. You know, um, the other day I did a, a shoot uh, with uh, Kyle Kuzma, 9 o'clock in the morning. Full court Filipino games going on, on two courts. So there's 20 players out there playing. So there's definitely a love and passion. And what was unique about it is everyone had their own unique style. They all wore their jerseys of their favorite players. So that was really cool. And I'm in L.A., and I would say 90% of them knew who I was. They all knew who Kyle Kuzma was, but they also knew who I was too. So you can tell they just have a love for the NBA and the game itself. Thank you. All right. Uh, speaking of the food, uh, what Filipino food did you enjoy so far? Or if you, so I've only had a few meals. Uh, the thing I like the most is the, the breakfast. And I don't know what it is. It's like the, the meat that has sort of like a teriyaki sweet taste to it on top of rice with over easy the eggs. The casino, probably that's the casino. Yeah, the so I, I don't know what it's called. I see the name, but I can't remember. And then at night, I think I've had like a adobu. Adobo? Adobo. Oh, Adobo. Great, great. okay. So I've had that. And I, I kind of like that one pot meal type of stuff, and I really enjoyed that. Everything with rice on the side, so it's been good. Wow, nice, nice. Um, any message uh, to your Filipino fans? Yeah, continue to watch the NBA. You guys are, are uh, they, they told me that it was going to be passionate fan and they were 100% right I'm so glad I got a chance to see it firsthand. but uh, when you watch the Celtics listen for my voice I'll be out there doing the games for you guys alright thank you very much